another one out there while I was watching a little Champions League on uh, in the background behind me. Uh, you gotta have a little fun in the office, otherwise, uh, what are we looking for? Um, today we've got a screw retained, um, screw mintable abutment. I don't think I've done a video on this yet before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a uh, a custom abutment, and then we'll punch a hole through it. Um, so that it is screw retained, but it gets more um, anatomical support by having a titanium abutment versus a um, tie base. So, um, let's see, I've got it set as a custom abutment. But normally, don't do screw retained, do custom abutment. Got the ginger over there, and we're good to go. Uh, so we're gonna go here, titanium abutment. Go ahead and mesh this together. bring this up if it's not looking perfect to you still doesn't look great better that'll do okay we'll go ahead and draw our uh, gingiva i like to bring up the jaw scan it just gives me better visual cues to look at and i'm going to go ahead and draw my uh gingiva line here okay looks good Here we got our crown. Uh, here's a, another trick. Sometimes you'll get a very distorted uh, crown if it shows you the, uh, you know, the little yellow distal thing over here. It'll kind of look like this, look way down here like this. So what you can do is you can actually go back that last step, go to expert mode, go to tools, change reconstruction type. Click missing tooth here. I'll click OK. And now go back into your wizard and then go forward and um, it'll give you a better placement uh, without the uh, you know the squished looking tooth or you know sometimes it looks real horrible but uh, in this case it wasn't too bad but I wanted to show you that little trick. Um, probably help you guys out quite a bit. I know it helps me out from time to time. So we're just going to go ahead and get this all lined up. Okay. Again, don't be afraid to kind of smash it in there. Another thing is, you know, you don't want it too far. Just, come on. Distal. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, that's another one of those little glitches I'm going to have to figure out. Maybe it's because I was, oh, it's because I was transparent. the emergence profile. Again, I'm using this shadow line right here. Alright, here to kind of figure out where I want to place this emergence profile. That's why I always say that drawing, that drawing stage um, isn't really that big of a deal because you're going to end up changing it anyways because you don't really know what kind of tooth is going to be in there until you do it's going to be interesting until you do um, kind of like a little whack, diagnostic wax up, which is what the, to the tooth placement actually is, if you think about it. All right. So that looks pretty terrible. So what we need to do is we need to fix this out. We need to smooth it. I'm holding down control. That smooths everything out. It, it unlocks the abutment margin from the tissue and now we can kind of manually adjust and remember this is going to be a screw retained so the margin isn't a big deal um, because this, this is going to be cemented before it goes in the mouth anyways so we want to over here we also want to change our um, angle and top angle okay smooth. I'm going to have to take this crown off so we can see the gingiva a little bit better. This is control to add a point. And this is also, you know, a second molar. So again, margin doesn't matter. No margin is going to be 
you seen. I'm just gonna want to square it up, rectangle it up, because that's what a crown looks like, or that's what a tooth is supposed to look like. You can add another point, bring it down. Um, since this is a not a full zirconia with a tie base, it's a custom abutment. This margin here, we can still shrink down. I do it at 0.1 because it's titanium. It's not going to chip. It's not like it's a zirconia crown. Um, if this was a zirconia abutment, I would leave it at 0.2. Um, titanium, it's not going to chip. You can leave it at 1. So now we've got our margin here. We can kind of sneak that one in there just a little bit more. We don't want to make it too big, otherwise, you know, they'll have to go and release the tissue a little bit, um, which isn't that big of a deal. But you know, we don't want them to have to work too hard. All right, let's go ahead and check these contacts. And now you're just designing the crown exactly as you would design a full contour crown. Everything's pretty simple. You now we can bring this down a little bit, bring these cuss tips down. I always remove the screw channel, it's just in the way. Get your cuss tool, you can drag that down. Drag that down. Come on down, thank you. Let's check. No, oh, too far. I want to get that tripod occlusion, especially on the lingual. Uh, over here, nice even. Okay, now let's go ahead and smooth down here around the margin. I'll just get rid of everything so you can see. Uh, and that this down here, we're gonna have to work on that in a second. Uh, but we'll do that after I get this done. Cause that looks like crap. And I'll show you how you can freeform um, the emergence profile. Cause right now I can't can't do it. You have to go into the wizard or the expert mode and do it that way. Okay, now we're good. Let's Just a little bit more. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I guess it was real quick for you, but it was quite a while for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust this down here. So what we're going to do is go into Exhibit Mode. We'll right-click on the abutment, Freeform Emergence Profiles, and we're going to fill that in because that's just not going to work so I always whenever I do anything I always overfill it in and then we'll smooth it up nice and simple okay so now it looks much cleaner much better we can fill in anything else that might need to be filled in and always smooth it up Maybe just a hair a bit more right here. Always look at everything from multiple angles because you know, if it's not in your hand, it's a little bit more difficult to see sometimes on the computer screen. Okay. All right, so now we just hit OK. We'll go back into our wizard. All right. So now you can see that looks much better there. We can smooth. Oh, that was adding, excuse me. Smooth this bad boy up. Okay, now I'm happy with my crown. Looks good. Let me just move that down a little bit right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut. I'm not concerned about the anatomy right now. Also, that could be 
where the screw hole is coming through, going to come through, so it doesn't really matter. Line this up. Okay, ready to drop down. Okay. Let's score. Oh, one nothing. Uh, if you guys have never punched a hole through a crown, that'll be uh, cool for you guys to see. It's a very, very handy trick when um, doing these types of cases. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll cut here. Again, I always switch back to the static and we'll drop it down. Okay. We'll do contact. Okay, cut. Uh, we need to make sure to do. So I'll be right back again. Okay, we are back again, uh, adjusting the contact. All right, we got that. Uh, let's do the disc cutter. We want to use the uh, direction of the screw channel here. So you're gonna line the screw hole up. Okay, then hit the uh, view. It was already pretty much lined up, so we're good. Let's go ahead and get this. Make sure we're not taking off too much. Cut. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and freeform anything right underneath so there's no sharp edge. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and fill in some more anatomy, draw in some anatomy. You know, do this kind of thing. Come down, however over here I'm not concerned about because it's just going to get knocked out anyways. Uh, you can always turn on the true smile, kind of makes it look a little bit better. Kind of fill things in over here. Uh -huh. you know, just simple, simple, little secondary anatomy. Alright, uh, now we're going to uh, design the abutment. Next, I always start out, oh, insertion direction. Okay, we kind of want to do, you know, here's fine. Just make sure that's kind of like, uh, you know, going with this contact area right here. You don't, you want to be able to uh, figure out what that contact area. Can you get that, please? start off by making this, holding the control key, we'll make this as big as possible. Make the, holding on the control key moves all of them. So I like my points at each cusp tip and each kind of marginal ridge to start. And hold down the control and click to uh, uh, add a point. Crown over here. Okay. Drop that down here. And, you know, it's pretty much. It's pretty much there. You can take away the crown. Line this up. Okay. That's pretty solid. Uh, now I will hold down Control again and move everything. Give me a nice shoulder. Does it all evenly? And I'll kind of also just a just a tiny bit kind of smooths and evens everything out now we'll freeform uh, we'll take away some of this central fossa right here this gives you a little bit more room nothing too much smooth it and if anything else in the above needs to be smooth you can do that but I'm pretty happy with that okay uh, hit next, the abutment's done. Um, let's design the superstructure now. This is the crown. Um, I will draw.
drop this margin line down because down around here where these edges are where the shoulder starts sometimes everybody's burrs and milling machines are a little bit different and won't fit perfectly also up the uh, gap just a little bit we'll hit next now it's going to dab the crown with those with that crown bottom um, just check is there anything else that we need to do any sharp edges no we're good uh, optimize freeforming we're going to get out of here and then we'll go back in to punch the hole I don't think that I have to go out and then come back in but it's just a habit because you used to have to do that so we're going to freeform the merged restoration now just load here we're going to hit uh, expert mode right click freeform merge restoration Okay, uh, let's pull up that screw channel. So line, we're going to line that up. You want to hit the attach button, subtract, scroll down to extrusion, and we're going to come down here and find our circle right there. We're going to click on the crown. Now we're going to use this screw hole so it's about as thin as you can possibly get it so you can line up the screw hole properly. Just a little finessing. I can't seem to. There. Perfect. And then you hit view. That'll change the view of it. Uh, now we want to uh, make the circle smaller. Change the radius. And you could probably get away with a 1.18 here. Okay. So the last thing we want to do is turn the height up all the way. Okay. So make sure that the red is all going going through. Uh, we'll click here, allow any changes. That means it will cut all the way through and ignore the minimum thickness. Hit apply. And now you have a hole in your ground. Click OK. And that's how you do a screw mentable zirconia. Um, so you just go ahead and mill out that crown as you normally would, and the same with the abutment, and you are good to go. Um, hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I will upload that video immediately, and if there's anything else you want me to do, let me know. See you later.